What's up YouTube? I'm here with Zach Poling. And what have you done today? Uh, I got fourth place at the Detroit Regional playing uh, Tier Element Ishizu, just like everybody else. All right, cool. You got any shout outs? Uh, yeah, shout out to my team, Refined Gaming. Um, uh, great place to play if you're in the Toledo area. Uh, shout out to the Church of Mystic Mind. Uh, got wrecked on the last ban list, but we're still alive, of course. Um, shout out to Evan Betzig. Uh, I think that's about it. Let's get into the profile. Alright, cool. Uh, it's pretty standard, but there's a couple of uh, weird things. I might talk about them, I might not. Uh, two Rhino Heart, that's all you need. It's obviously standard uh, tier ratio is three, three, three of these. Um, I played all three of the uh, mill guys, all six of them rather, and all three of the shuffle guys. Um, in the mirrors, I probably played about like half mirrors and half uh, just like other stuff. And I, I was usually still using this uh, in the mirror, and I was often doing it blind if I could make like a dweller or like set one of these up, especially if it was like on field uh, first to just like you know prepare. And then it, there's really just no downside to milling. These cards just completely destroy anything that's not here. It's actually just crazy. Um, against my sprite match in the very last round, round nine, uh, I didn't know what he was on, and I made Dweller first, uh, started milling his deck, realized he was on sprite, and then like linked the Dweller off into like an elf and just like kind of rearranged my board after that. So it's uh, these are really cool for like getting information about your opponent too. Uh, of course, everybody knows that by now, right? Uh, I played some Bestials, uh, eight of them in the main deck. Um, sided them out a lot, especially these guys for anything except the mirror. And uh, I sided these things out a lot because a lot of people were uh, taking Magnumus out of Grave with dark. all day long. Yeah, with Dark Charmer. So uh, I sided them out a lot, uh, but before I realized that people were doing that, I was like kind of in the moment, just constantly just shuffling back this one every single time to make the Mud Dragon. Which seemed pretty common. My opponents were doing it too. Um, and the last monster is one Diviner of the Herald, which uh, I really like Baron. Baron's still in here. Uh, I don't know if it will be going forward, but I, I just really like it. This just gives you access to How it. How many times did you make Baron today? Uh, I made Baron one time, uh, and it was probably not necessary. And you like that over the uh, Sword Soul monster that banishes from Field and Grave? Um, honestly, the having a level 10 Synchro doesn't come up super often in the first place. So uh, it's... Baron is kind of almost like the 15th card already, so I, there's no way I would want to be fitting in Chang'e. Uh, the, the upside of Baron, the reason I would play that just over it in general, is because it keeps you safer from... I uh, uh, can't remember exactly what I was uh, afraid of this tournament in particular, but um, just setting up hard negates, like this plus trap card is just devastating. And any extras you have, like a, a Sullyic or just like um, just non-hard uh, like negate activations type stuff uh, just kind of blows them out if you have anything extra to go along with. Spells to scream, um, instant fusion is insane, obviously. Uh, terraforming the three field spells. I, I draw instant fusion a lot, uh, like in testing and like before this tournament. I didn't draw it so much today, but I drew this a ton today, and like especially like the terraforming. Uh, and this really carried by if, I don't know if people forget about this or like they just there's too many interrupts or stuff but they always seem surprised when you just pop their things or especially when you pop your own thing and like set up a couple fusion monsters off of it um they, you should really just deal with this card immediately even if it just like begs you yeah. in the beginning because it, it's just value every single turn yeah, I heard the mirror it's whoever controls the field spell yeah yeah absolutely and you're always shuffling them back off of your shuffler and uh two sully ex uh it came up a lot where I needed the two um, and I never ripped both of them in, so I got lucky there, I guess. No crime? Uh, crime is in the side deck. Gotcha. But I didn't want to draw it going second. Same with the uh, third Sauron here. Um, just, I didn't want all those breaking up my hand going first into like whatever matchup. Gotcha. Um, I'll do an extra deck now, I guess. The Baron, the Nuts, obviously. <laughs> I, I kind of want to add more ways to just make it easier, just because it's so fun to use. Um, Wallow, I summoned it once and detached one to target like a card and he like thought that was like a big deal he thought I was I guess he thought I was like gonna set it or something but he made a big deal shuffled it back I was like that's fine I still have a material just interrupt your tier on the 
on your turn, so that worked out pretty well. I thought you were activating the other one. Yeah, but I only yeah. detached one to just do the shuffle back or whatever it is. Um, rank fours, uh, Abyss Dweller was kind of cool. Babushka was way cooler than Abyss Dweller. And then uh, I think I made Redoer more than Abyss Dweller, too. Uh, any matchup where this is just kind of dead and you don't want to like just lock your own self down to wait, like this is just really good. Just uh, keeps the tempo up. Uh, and Zeus, of course. Well, I don't know. Just some people, some people cut Zeus. I, I feel like it was pretty pivotal. I summoned this a whole lot against Flu, against uh, Exo Sister, against like just Rogue stuff. Even the Mirror Dweller, Dweller Zeus seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, Link monsters. I played the two sprites, just like everybody plays, and I played the Dark Charmer. Uh, I was gonna play Asa the Earth Charmer. Uh, over like Wallow or something. I don't know if that would have come up at all, and if it would have, it would have just been like a way for me to flex and like do cool stuff. And I don't know, it, it wasn't necessary. This guy was all you needed. Take people's Magnumus, take people's whatever, use them to make sprint, and that's just kind of that's just it. You don't need any more than that. I don't think. Um, I'm not playing Abermax. I don't think I played it out to Abermax either. So it's a good thing I didn't run into that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Oh no, I I do. I play uh, Baron as Dante. We've got uh, the six fusions, obviously standard, nothing to say about those, uh, except for nothing at all. Yeah, they all did what they're supposed to do, nothing cool to say about them. You was never there... missed the second Kit Kellos. I was uh, just about to ask that same thing. Oh, oh, uh, missing the second Kit Kellos. My Kit Kellos actually got banished a couple of times, once just right out of the extra deck with a Litho Sagum, uh, like, True King guy. Mm -hmm. um, and then game two, I I don't remember if it's game two or game three, but I put in the uh, the crime, like even going second, because I was just like, this this should be fine. I might be able to like, I don't know how I plan to. Well, no, it's just if it sends the graveyard, right? And you can add, uh, yeah, if it sends the graveyard yeah, card effect. Put the kick callus back. Um, but honestly, it, it didn't matter even when it got banished. I can't remember whose deck profile uh, for the last YCS I was watching, but they were talking about how. Uh, how Garura kind of like fills the role of Kit Kalos sometimes. So if you lose your Kit Kalos, you can still make fusions with two tiers, mm -hmm. um, and, and just like link climb, make boards, and that kind of stuff. Whereas like the OCG can't really do that. So they, I think that's why a lot of them run like, two Kit Kalos. Not to mention like the, their format's different with the cash tiers, but right. Uh, and side deck. My, okay, so my side deck was jank. It was like. I was typing it out on the side deck while I was in bed, like, huh, what would be good in the side deck? I don't even know. So I probably forgot a lot of stuff, but uh, this side deck actually worked pretty pretty well. Uh, three drolls, because I wasn't, I don't know how to play against the Dark World deck, and I assume this just probably uh, kills them, so I don't have to even think about it, just drive. Hurts Flu 2. Uh, Flu 2, yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, and then this is also something I took for, I think Paulie Aronson was playing this stuff in, uh, in his list, but I, I agree with what he was saying, where uh, these are good against tier, but they also have a lot of overlap with other matchups. So in matchups where like the beast seals are dead, for example, you can just side in uh, like these against flu, maybe not so much those, uh, and you kind of just like always have flexible ways to uh, like interact with them. So, so these were actually fantastic, especially the imprint. Uh, I would definitely play those again. Um, Two heartbeats. I think I sided one in once and never drew it. Or ne oh no, that's not true. Uh, against my flu matchup, I uh, like got to Zeus somehow. I remember and this was set, and I also had like a scream on board, uh, or a, a Sullyak on board rather. And then I like Zeus his board, also sent this and the Sullyak. So I got a search and the add back the Sullyak off of this. So it was like some value there, but it, it wasn't used ever for what it was intended for, which is the fitter. Uh, and then a bunch of one ofs, one zombie world, one banshee. I would play two and two, but I could only find one zombie world, so bummer. Um, crime for going first, Sarnir for going second in the mirror, and Harvey Feather Duster never came in. Uh, I guess in theory this could be like a lightning storm, but once again I was just like, what do I want in my side deck? I got one slot left. That's always going to the Feather Duster, you already know. Um, that's the deck. My matchups were like half, I think I said half, uh, half tier, half everything else. And uh, every tier mirror I played against felt really good and really fun. I, I really like this format a lot, so uh, I'm really happy to uh, be doing something with it while it's still around. Would there be any changes that you'd like to make to it or, um, or that you wish you did? 
think I'm, I'm, I'm too fence city on the uh, Baron. I either need to full commit and play like Herald of Orange Light and maybe some other Heralds, yeah. or just cut the Diviner and the, uh, and the Baron. Like, I don't think it's worth the 15th side deck slot uh, to maybe draw the Diviner, maybe have your normal summon uh, available for it, or like go way out of your way to send it to Graveyard, summon it back when that could be Murley and you could just be like, you know, staying within your engine. So, um, yeah, the Baron's a little iffy, and then obviously the side deck is just, I don't know. Some things worked, but I wouldn't play that side deck again for sure. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much. And uh, anything else you want to say, I guess? Uh, nothing. Thanks so much for the profile, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Have a good one.